And today we're going to be having a conversation and tip about the uh, blending sliders. There are some sliders which I'll give you a peek on them, which normally we have no single idea what do they do. And those are the sliders which are in here. There are so many people, they will look at them and they will ignore them and they have no single idea what's the power of those sliders. So uh, what I will be doing today is that uh, we'll start talking about them and then I'll show you a live example how to utilize and take advantage of those sliders. Now right now I have a image which is this one and that's sitting on the uh, lower layer and I created this kind of gradient so I can show you exactly those sliders what they can do. So I'm going to enable the uh, view of uh, this layer and then I will be going either by clicking on the FX which you can see it in here. Here we have the FX okay and once you click on FX you're gonna choose the blending options and in the blending options you will definitely see those two sliders that are here. Now in the blending if section we have some drop down menu where I can choose I want to do the effect depending on the gray which means simply uh, depending on the brightness of the image and uh, the other ones are dependent on the color but we will be using the gray and now this the first dial is is related to the this layer this layer means that the layer which are uh, w which we have uh, chosen okay uh, what I have done is something wrong because I don't want this layer I want that layer so uh, as I said we can go to FX and then click on blending option or I can simply just double click on the uh, thumbnail of the image or the layer and then I will be having the same thing now what I will be doing is I uh, as I said w when I chose this layer this means the layer that is active and the one which is showing the uh, underlying layer is whatever beneath the existing layer that you are on and let's see what will happen if we will start moving the slider from the back uh, so, sorry from the black to the white now once I start sliding as you can see now I'm revealing what ever in this brightness whatever sitting from here until the tab this this thing from here that 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 whole thing is what it's gonna reveal and that's the color of the gradient that you can see right now that's the black and as more I will be going I will be hiding this layer with this brightness so the brightness which is sitting from here until that dial or, or, uh, or that tab I will be hiding that layer from the, one, from the layer which is beneath it and I can go all the way to the white as you can see and also I will be able to do the opposite I want to hide whatever is really bright from the white all the way to the black. Now as you can see the edges between whatever is been hidden and whatever is appearing is very hard. There is a way to make this not that much hard but we can do some kind of feathering. That's why if you have a, a close look on that tabby there is a line in the middle. How can I split this tab from the middle is by pressing on alt and then I will click on the half that I want to move separately so I by I'm just pressing right now the alt and then I will click and then move now watch what will happen now right now I don't have that very hard edge between what is ever is hidden and what's whatever is visible so now I have a gradient kind of way or a feathered kind of way between whatever is hidden and whatever is, is, is appearing. So I can even uh, move that feathering all the way uh, from 
uh, from this area which is which is exactly this one which is exactly where this point is 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 sitting is is exactly somewhere here and it feathers all the way f f to 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 this area which is almost exactly here and then it will show uh, you know the white area or oh, sorry it will hide whatever sitting in the in the bright area now what is this going to help us uh, to understand exactly how this is gonna help is that I will be showing you a live demo or a live example on what this is gonna help us I will be deleting this gradient because I don't require it anymore now as you can see in this image we have a bright area and we have a somehow a gray kind of uh, you know whatever is middle between the white and black and we have something dark which is most probably in this area it is very dark now let's say for example specifically for this image I want to remove the sky because the sky is bright so all I have to do and extremely fast I don't have to come and paint with masks and do all that kind of stuff there is an easy way to do that is by going to the effects and going to the blending option uh, where I will find those uh, lovely sliders which we are talking about them today and now what I will be doing is moving the slide from the bright area so as if I am uh, as, as I move watch what's happening now to the sky the sky is vanishing okay now I will reach to a stage now watch watch at this area what's gonna happen because this is the second bright area which is almost after the sky now watch what's gonna happen as 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 i go more now this area is gonna start to disappear and as i'm going to the gray i will be start removing the building and till i go all the way to the black i'm starting removing the whole image so that's what those sliders really does so I will be going to a reasonable amount and I don't want that harsh kind of uh, effect on the edges I will be splitting this guy and I will make some kind of a feathered uh, effect okay as you can see in here somehow there are some pieces in the image we are you know uh, removed if you have an idea how to utilize masks or how to use masks you can take advantage by that which is definitely it's not our uh, subject today I'm not gonna go through masks, but I'm just showing you what can be done using these um, these uh, sliders now since uh, I'll just click on OK now because I'm happy of this effect now since the uh, sky now it's no more there I can simply now come and take a different sky I click on V which is the move mode and then I will grab that picture and I will just drop it in here I have to be sure that the layer is beneath that so it will become or it will come behind it and now I just can come like so I click on command or control T for transform because I want to transform the sky to cover all the image and that's how I can change my sky to a different sky in a very simple and very fast and easy way last but not least I will also show you the effect um, if you go the to if you can go to the opposite way look at the trees what's gonna happen see that immediately what will be removed are the trees and gradually will go all the way to the buildings and from the building if we had the sky we can remove also the sky so that's the power of the blending options what really you can do with just two sliders in a, in a, in a very efficient way to remove the sky and change it with something different like what we have done now also what you can do to give you a you know another tip since the sky it's a bit blue and it's very obvious that this thing is not related to this thing you can change the uh, color of it so what I will be doing is I will add a photo filter and I can change the density till I can remove that really blue kind of thing somehow and I will be coming to that stage and this is our tip for today if you find this tip 
important and it is really helping you, please don't and don't forget to click on like in YouTube. It's good also to click on like in Facebook, but I also would like you to click on like in YouTube because this will help me and it will keep me going and going, giving you all the lovely tips that I can have. And don't forget to subscribe if you still did not subscribe uh, so you can get all the updates uh, of um, the videos that I'm posting to your emails. And uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.